Hi everyone, I am Pankaj Kumar and you are watching Make Engineering Knowledge Junction. Today we are going to do another tutorial related to the milling operations in MasterCAM 2018. This tutorial is related to the series that we started on milling operations in MasterCAM 2018. This is another tutorial. This is a simple tutorial that we are going to do in the MasterCAM 2018. Before starting this tutorial, I want to say that if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get all the updates from my channel. And don't forget to share available comments and suggestions in the comment section. If you have any doubt or query related to this tutorial, you can ask in the comment section. I will reply as quickly as possible. So let's start our tutorial. First of all, open Mastercam 2018, click on file, go to configuration, then go in this box and select the metric and then click OK. This is done for dynamic metric system that is MM. Now for drawing any profile, we have to go to wireframe. So click on wireframe. Now carefully observe this profile. You can see that there is a 60 mm height and 100 mm with rectangle. So I am going to draw a rectangle. Click on rectangle and start drawing from here and release here. Now go here and give the width as 100. Press enter and height as uh, 60 and then press enter now click ok now bring the rectangle in center now you can clearly see that there is a circle of radius 25 at this point and there is a circle of radius 50 at this point so I'm going to draw this so click on this circle center point and now click on this and taking this as center draw a circle of radius 25 and then press enter now again go here and select this point of center and release here and draw a circle of radius 50 and then press enter now click ok now there is no need for this person this person this person for that you will have to select trim back extend and now select this trim and div and select this divide delete now go here and click this to delete this click this to delete this click here 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 to delete this and click here to delete this now you can clearly see that we have drawn this arc and this arc now we have to draw this for that we will have to go uh, 40 mm in x and then 25 mm in y and then there is a fillet of 5 mm so open master cap and click ok and now select this okay and uh, we have to start from we will have to start from there is a, a gap of after 10 mm so you will have to create a point after first of all for that create the point and the point coordinate will be uh, 0 comma 10 sorry 0 comma 10 plus radius of this that is 35 ok so press enter now you can clearly see that we get a point here now click ok after that we will have to select this line in point and select as this point as a starting and go in right side and release here and give the length as 40 and then press enter now start from this point go vertically upward and give the length as 25 and then press enter ok now click ok now there is no need for this point now so select this and press the delete button on a keyboard and now there is no need for this line also so again click on trim break extend and select trim break extend and select trim and then delete and select this line and this line and now click ok now we will have to create a chamfer of radius 5 at this so click on fillet entities select here and here and now give the radius here as 5 and then press enter now click okay thus we have generated the required profile according to our given problem now we are going to uh, screw this profile for that click on solid click on click on a screwed first of all right click the mouse button and go to isometric view okay and now select this and select this chain and now click ok and now reverse the direction since this is the upper direction you will have to click here and reverse the direction in downward and the distance is 5 mm now click ok so we have screwed the required 
profile now we are going to select the machine for that click on machine and since this is the problem of milling so click on mill and click on default now we will have to set up the stock for this for that click on this plus sign and then click on the stock setup and then click on all solids it will automatically create a by default cube wide stock for this i'm going to increase it by 2 mm in y for the actual visualization of the process and 1 mm in z axis uh, so 6 now click ok you can clearly see that there is a red cube wide this is the stock out of which after performing different operation we are going to this actual profile so first of all i am going to do the facing operation so click on facing select this and then click on this chain and now click ok now go to tool go to select library tool go to filter and select this tool for always for facing now click ok go here and select uh, this tool now click ok now do not change in anything holder do not change anything in holder go to cut parameters select here zigzag and always give here zero while facing go to the top cut and tick here and um, i'm going to take four rough step one finish step of 0 0.25 okay now go to linking parameter do not change anything in this these three boxes only change here and write minus one since we have to remove one material in downward direction now click ok now we have you can clearly see that there is a tool path is generated for the facing operation now we have to perform contour operation for clearing this outside material okay so click on contour click on chain then again select this chain now click ok go to tool click on select tool library now click on filter and always select this tool for contour operation now click ok now select one of the tool of feasible diameter now click ok now go to do not change anything in holder go to cut parameters do not change anything go to depth of cut and tick here and take rough step of 4 and one step of finish of 0 0.25 ok do not change anything in lead in and lead out click on breakthrough tick here and give the value here as 2 mm you can give a 5 also and give to linking parameter and give here value as minus 7 i have increased it by 2 mm um, so that it will not it will not relieve release or uh, any uh, it will not leave any material at the base of the uh, operation so click ok so you can clearly see that this is the tool path generated for the contour operation now we have to combine these two in a sequence for that click on tool path group one now go here and click on regenerate all selected operation now go here and click on verify selected operation now we are going to open as another window in which we are going to see how actual operation will be done or how tool path will be getting started so for that click on play button you can clearly see that facing operation is going on now the contour operation is started so you can clearly see that the number of steps rough steps are going on that is four and after that it will take one finish step okay so we get the required profile out of the stock setup we have given for the profile so thank you for watching please like and share this video as much as you can and also subscribe my channel to get all the updates from my channel Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.